the mountains of the pristine Guajasu game farm in the Drakensberg range of South Africa. When I think about its savannas, streams and mountain peaks, a sense of sublimity comes to mind. Are you tired of this? Yeah. Fiso? Yeah. Are you tired? Too much, yes. Yesterday we were on that mountain on the opposite side it's about seven kilometers away and we spotted will the this side green field there Sofiso knows where they are decide. Right Sofiso? two bulls but we are now 600 meters away and it seems like they are both cows so we go over that mountain there so if you believe there might be a uh, bachelor hut behind that mountain Oh, my God. 
other way. The problem now is if I get spooked by running over the mountain, the mountain wind buck. There's a lot, There's more than 10. So we're going to have to go over this mountain again to look for the for that herd. We thought that they would be here, but it's only that cow and the calf. So on the first day, the first day we walked on that mountain there, the second day we did that large mountain that side, and then today we came down, down the bottom there, around the bottom of this mountain, and we spotted two wildebeest in the green patch, but then it turned out to be two cows, and then we came up this mountain here. We spotted this cow with a calf and oryx and red hartebeest. But now, on that mountain there, we spot a fairly big herd. So we're gonna move down and see this afternoon if we can't get up there and uh, maybe get a shot on one of those bulls. Mountain Reed Park. How many years ago is this? Hundreds of years, he says. Chocolate, the fish. Yeah.
stood on that mountain, just on that, behind this hill. Starting to rain. meters away. This will probably move up the mountain now. The rain is catching up with us. Just getting completely soaked, and the world will be so up in the mountain already. In the fields, five o'clock. Sun is just about to rise. Such a beautiful sunrise this morning. We've been Paul and Springbuck. We spotted them about a kilometer away, still on that mountain, on the other side. This place back between us and them. Then the other side, opposite slab. That herd is mostly bulls. There's just a few cows with them. See this? There's a few nice bulls there. We just need to get into position because they're still about 700 meters away. Probably by last also. So they drop grey. So we're now, we're now moving up the mountain.
out almost on the top of that, the first large green mountain. So it's gonna be quite a walk up there. But they are still running. We spotted them about a kilometer away and uh, they start running again. We decided that uh, it is too mountain buck. Will the beast ran over that escarpment onto that plateau on top there and Sophisa suggested that he walk up that side and I walk up this side and wait for him here and he'll try to hurt him this side there's a herd of black buck it's coming down on that escarpment there What an absolutely breathtaking scenery. It's so beautiful here. There's a fiesel on top there. It's the fourth day. I'm gonna move to another mountain. Probably somewhere there. That's a, the last place we saw them. Ja, hulle het gehaard loop. Are you tired, Sophie, so? Ja, het is nog recht. Nog recht. Dat is wel de beest. Het ran all the way up this mountain. Where we hunted the second day. All the way up there. En even past, so probably past that peak. So we've got a couple of hours of climbing. It's probably two, three hundred meters elevation that we need to ascend. They drank here as well. Head of buffalo. shot in and if not they they're not gonna stop yeah the vent is not even cared
they ran off again. They probably keep on running until the until where we saw him this morning last. And uh, it's already afternoon. We hope that they will move down again uh, to the place where we saw him yesterday when it started raining. Then a little later this afternoon we will uh, we will stalk up there and see if they are there. Hopefully, I think it will be the last afternoon. So, I'm hoping for the best. We are literally two kilometers away. Now I remember. There is a solitary pool. An astonishing hunt had finally drawn to an end. I wanted to back a black wildebeest in mountains inaccessible to a 4x4. And I had fulfilled my dream. It turned out to be a very rewarding hunt and an unforgettable adventure. Kwagasuk exceeded all my expectations. From the beautiful lodge, professional staff and pristine area to the breathtaking scenery. I've hunted several beautiful black wildebeest in the past, but this one was the most memorable, conjuring up fond memories in my hunting journal. So now the recovery starts. I don't even know how I'm going to get down this mountain. So Fizzo, yeah. are you tired? Too much, yes. We, don't, we ran out of water. The closest water is down the valley here. Yeah. Ah! 
monkey. Moin, Mann. Ne bazı kalsın bir gün. Hart. Ben de zaten. Şey, sayt koyar. Sonra da biraz. Hı hı. O, hızlı sayt. Two months ago, I found this black bullet beast in a dragon's book. And um, we are now in Limpopo hunting zebra, kudu and impala, but it's December, it's really hot, raining season, but um, we decided to come and caught some fish this afternoon and we're enjoying a uh, wildebeest snack. Mm, it's pretty. Exquisite, because mm. the live was pretty good. Sublime. Nice painting in the face. 